All right, folks, you want to make some easy money, pretty good money. <laughs> All you got to have is a chainsaw and a, a board, <laughs> pretty much. A chainsaw, a board, a grinder, and if you've got a little propane torch, that's, uh, that's going to help you out. Uh, I figured it up the other day. I've been carving these little signs for, you know, a good while, a little over a year. I remember making Christmas gifts last year. And this year I'm doing the same thing for somebody else. So uh, I figured out uh, fooling, just carving regular old welcome signs and stuff like that. I'm making about a dollar a minute when I'm in here fooling with them. Now, if that was sustainable, I would be carving signs for a living. But I'm in southern Mississippi, and the county I live in has one stoplight in the whole county. So uh, there's not many people down here. And uh, I don't have a, re a really good outlet. And uh, the cost of shipping these things just makes it. I mean, if I'd bounced around the flea markets and stuff, I may do it more. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it because it's super duper simple. It's easy. Uh, men, women, I mean, if you can crank and hold a chainsaw, you can do it. You can run a little grinder with a, with a sanding flat wheel on it. You can do it. <laughs> uh, matter of fact, today, just to. To show you it can be done, my daddy found an old McCullough electric uh, chainsaw at a garage sale or something, yard sale. And they wanted like 20 or $25 for it. He plugged it in, it worked, so he brought it home. And he never really used it, so I'm just going to show you. It, it don't take much. You could probably do it with, uh, you know, with just a grinder or a Dremel tool or, or like a die grinder, something like that, but it would be... It would be pretty tough, and I don't know if you'd get the, the look that you would be looking for. Anyway, I'm going to quit talking. All you need is a chainsaw and a board to start with. So that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip around and show you the little electric chainsaw. I'm not going to use my steel uh, saw or my little steel carbon saw. I'm going to use that little electric saw. So let me show you what we got. This is a board. Two by six, maybe. That's about, it's come off of a sawmill, so it's a two by six. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is. It, I think that board is older than I am. But you'll see, I come down with a pencil on each side just to kind of set in where it'll have a border. And I've, I, know, I already know how many letters this last name's going to have in it. So I make them, you know, if it's a two by six, I come in about a half inch on each side. So it's five inches wide. And somewhere between five and six inches tall, I found that's a good uh, ratio. You know, about about square, but if you want to elongate it up and down, that, that won't be an issue. It'll actually look a little bit better. And here's the little electric saw we're going to be using. This, uh, I mean, it comes from a, like I say, a garage sale. Very cheap. And it's relatively quiet in comparison to a real, you know, gas burning chainsaw. So, anyway, let me get set up and I'll show you what we're going to do first. First thing I'm going to do is cut this top off where it checked. I got a pretty good check right there where it split down. I'm going to cut it off somewhere around here. And my first letter is going to be right here. So I'm going to put the camera on the stand. And I'll probably it'll probably be a time lapse. And uh, I'll stop and talk about it a little bit along the way. Oh, you can see what I did there. All I did was make my outline and then blocked out where each letter is going to go. Now I'm going to take my pencil and kind of roughly kind of scribe in where my lines are going to go where I can carve out each letter. All right, you can see what I got here. L-O-V-E-T-T -T, Levitt. That's the last name of the family that we're carving this far. So uh, here, like just like we did here, just get about a, a, a chain depth, about, you know, that deep is all we're going, from here to there, not very deep at all. I mean, you can see, not very deep. We're gonna do that same thing and just follow our pencil mark.
we're about 10 minutes in and we're about halfway done let's uh i'll show you what the next step is we're gonna make it look rotten we're gonna make it look uh kind of rustic that's the thing nowadays so let's see if we can't make it look old and wore out or so if I wasn't uh, fooling with the camera and uh, about $20 I guess I mean you could sell it for 20 uh, some parts of the United States you may be able to sell it for you know 40 or 50 <clears throat> I don't know if just depending on your local area local economy whatever but uh, in South Mississippi a dollar a minute sounds a lot like $60 an hour and that's good money so Anyway, well, uh, I reckon I'm going to sign off of here. I got one more last name to do, but uh, it's time for another pot of coffee. Y'all take care. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.